Hi, so we're today here on the uh, the market show floor, and uh, I'm here with uh, Dick, and uh, he's gonna tell us a little bit about what he's selling. Uh, these are our ties under the name of Peter Blair, and Peter's my godson, and Blair's my goddaughter, and we started this company about 10 years ago, this tie company. All handmade in the U.S., Belleville, New Jersey, and in the Bronx. Um, they are all have a lifeline in them. So if you look at this, you'll notice they're all handmade. This determines the lifeline is the string. Okay. So these are wovens from England, fabrics are from England, and our prints are from Asia. Uh, Kate, my sister, is the designer. She designs all the fabrics, um, and they're all handmade, all hand designed. Uh, their retail is 80 to 85 on our prints, and 95 to 125 on our wovens. This line you're looking at here is a bespoke line. It's a high-end third tissue of silk so it gives you that iridescence that you may or may not notice but it gives you the iridescence for time we do a lot of custom work which is over this area scarves mm -hmm. ties all kinds of things for custom events uh, schools clubs uh, and we're having a good time we're probably well known for our color okay so if you're looking at it you notice that our color sense is a little bit brighter um, we don't do a lot of darks and um, Maybe more East Coast, I guess. What are uh, what are some of your uh, consumers? That, uh, Mainly specialty men's stores. We have a few larger department stores. I kind of stay away from some of them because they they can be very difficult uh, with minimums, difficult with you know taking things back. So we love working with specialty shops, and we've got 200 accounts across the United States. Do you guys have your own? store, pop-up yeah. shop, or? I have a store, Peter Blair, that's been around for 22 years. Very conservative, classic clothing. We like to say classic with a twist. Um, and we have a lot of American made in the store. Um, you know, Southwick, Bill's khakis, things like that. And then our ties. We're probably our number one client for ties. And, uh, but we love it. We've got some great customers. You know, you, the United States is lucky to have special event shop. A lot of uh, returning customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do a little bit of online, but it's generally from, you know, our retail. What are, um, what would you say is your most popular pattern? Chick magnet and screw you. <laughs> Can you show us? Yes. <laughs> okay. This is chick magnet. So you see the chicken of the magnet. Wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? So this has been in our line for seven, eight years, and we've done it many, many colors. Each year you'll see four new colors coming out. Mm -hmm. And then this one is called Screw You. Right. And that's on everybody's order. <laughs> it's a subtle way of saying it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we do a lot of fun stuff, like um, not everything has a cute name to it. Mm -hmm. But they're, you know, this is like a dog paddle. So it's a Labrador with the paddles around it. And we've got King Pin, which is a safety pin with a crown. And like I said, not everything is a cute thing. Some right. of it's kind of fun, novelty looking. But we are kind of heading a little bit more to sophisticated patterns and designs and things. And geometrics and uh, you know, just lots of polka dots. We do, as you can see in our wovens, we do a ton of polka dots and stripes. We don't do any of the cuter things over here. This just tends to be a little bit more sophisticated. Do you have any like future projects, new collections that are coming out? Anything? Each, you know, out? twice a year we do have collections coming out. We're going to try to start broadening. You know, maybe getting into bathing suits, getting into other items. Right now we do tote bags and we do uh, picture frames and we'll do key fobs and things, but. We want to break out and, you know, as, as everything becomes niche oriented these days, right. you have to keep going with something niche. So it could be a shirt line, it could be a bathing suit line, it could be a dop kit. Belts is one of the things that we're looking at. But we don't want to be like everybody else's belt because A, it's not fair to them and B, you know, you have to be somewhat creative and get your own thing going. So we're going to try to do some new stuff with some silks and things on belts. They were done back in the 70s and they were great. Mm -hmm. So now we want to try to bring a little bit of that back. With the same theme of same color? Same color, but, it, but ours is going to be probably a little bit brighter mm -hmm. because these colors weren't used back in the 70s. And, um, and things change so much. You know, the whole Pantone matching system keeps changing. 
so uh, we will hopefully change with the color. But as you know, people are not wearing as many ties. See, I caught you without your tie on. <laughs> <laughs> so people aren't wearing as many ties, so right. you kind of either have to hit niche or break it out and get something new. Now, I noticed you have some bow ties here. Are, are, are yep. bow ties huge. Uh, huge? Much bigger than ties? Oh my god. Well, I wouldn't say as much as they're bigger than ties because we're, we're kind of known for color and these designs. Right. But bow ties are. I bet a year ago I was almost selling one bow to a tie. It has decreased a little bit, but there's so many bow tie makers in the market now. Right. So there's only X that you can be able to spread across the young children. And they're the ones wearing the bows. It's the young guys that are their teens and early 20s. They're the bow tie wearers right now. You know what? You have your diehards who are always going to wear a bow because you grew up with a bow. Right. But um, it is hot. But you might have noticed if you're walking around there, a lot of bow tie makers. If you go to some of the other shows, you'll see it. it. I'm glad the children are wearing them. You know what I mean? If they're going to start wearing the tie, look good. They're the ones trying to get a job. In this market, it ain't easy.